Okay guys, I'm going to give y'all a tour of our meat processing room and my next project which is going to be replacing the front of this cooler as you can see she about rotted off I mean, pretty bad this door is very heavy very very heavy so after a while I'm going to get my stepson down here and he's going to help me get these hinges off of it, get this door off. Warn. Anyway, I'm on my next project is going to be to fix this door and renovate this room. If we start here at the wrapping station, we got an old grinder in there that we don't never use no more but all this has got to be replaced it's all pressed wood rotten crap so i'm gonna rebuild these shelves uh probably gonna put a new countertop on or a different countertop Ooh, sun's kind of bright as you can see i haven't used it in a long time i think it's been five years since we cut up anything in here but that's our grind uh cuber put them together set that in here and uh, makes cube steak, bacon slicer, meat saw, and it is a true meat saw, Toledo high speed meat saw, it's got an adjustable thing here, you can adjust to any thickness you want on your steak, roast or whatever, I've been using it to cut wood, so all this got to be cleaned and greased, I got to, this is part of the grinder, that's the motor. And as you can see, the damn ceiling uh, got wet and fell in. So all this ceiling's got to be tore off and replaced. I got to redo this thing. This thing's sitting on. Got a an old press cooker, clamshell grill, whatever you want to call it. But anyway, I bought this uh, stainless table about seven, eight years ago. We used to have old wood table in here we cut up meat on for years and years and years and it just got to where it was so hard to clean and it really is unsanitary because you can't get wood wood sanitized once you really, I mean, we use cutting boards but, you know, really it was very unsanitary. Of course, this wall uh, is the same material as this shit. It's just press board with a little paneling on top. And uh, you can't really see good, but anyway, I got to tear out this ceiling. I'm gonna put plywood back in here. No exhaust fan. Probably gonna do away with this crap here. We don't ever need it. Uh, we used to make a lot of sausage. Of course, that shit's there is old. And we used to use legs old plantation seat sausage seasoning and we uh we didn't put it quite the way they got it 25 pounds of meat we put it 30 pounds of meat and then just added a little more sage and pepper and it turned out a little better it was a little salty at 25 pounds per bag uh used to have a bunch of totes a uh, bunch of wash pans they've all walked off since we quit since my granddad died Old scale, a Toledo, I believe. Yep, Toledo scale. I don't know if y'all can tell. It's even got. Ooh, can't see nothing now. It's it's got pricing in there. You can move it around to whatever prices you want. I don't know, it's hard to see but anyway. It's all mostly scent, so it's old. Uh, several years ago when I rewired the barn, I come in here and I rewired the meat room. Never had GFCI outlets in here, nothing. Used to have an outlet sit right there and, and that clam shell cooker sit right here. So, lots of work to do. I got an old water heater that uh, I don't think it's been on in two years. So I want to get it drained out tested and make sure both elements are right because I, I replaced elements in it about five years ago. Uh, the last time we used it in here it 
the elements were bad, the thermostat was bad or something. Anyway, the elements and thermostats have been replaced on this thing in the last five years, but it's only got a six-year warranty, so it's it's possibly it's time to uh, chunk. But even if it even if it springs a leak, we've got a floor drain under there somewhere amongst all that dirt. <laughs> probably don't even work now. It's probably stopped up out in the field. And in here, you can see nothing. It is bad spider webby. Spider webs. We got the condensing unit, fan. I had to replace the fan motor last time I used it. Uh, I went in here, see all the surface rust, but I come in here a few, uh, about six years ago and, and put this, uh, it's kind of like bathroom surround, bath surround stuff. It's plastic, fiberglass, whatever. Put it all around it. Kind of help keep it from rusting, but I got a hole in that crack right there. I didn't quite have enough to finish it. And there's a big hole right there that goes all the way through the cooler. And it's also got a floor drain. You can't really see it, but it's right there. So, it's a big project. But we're going to try to kill a beef this year. And I'm hoping to get videos on how to process, how to skin it, gut it, uh, hang it, you want to hang it uh, as long as you can hang it. And here, back when when the door sealed good and everything was in good shape, you could hang it 14 days. You know, it would it would maintain 30, four, uh, 36 degrees in here. But now, the, it, it's all it can do to maintain that. So, about 12 days was was the best I could get out of the last one we hung. The door was as bad as it is now. And I could shut this door and that wall would go back together. But it's dangerous. I'm, I'm worried the whole damn thing's just going to fall out. It's a good story on this bullet hole right here. Uh, my granddad shot that with a 44 Magnum shooting that dog from the house. It come through the wall right there. Thankfully the side was covered up now. You can't, there ain't no hole through there, but <laughs> good thing nobody was in here because that's, uh, well, I'm six foot and that's probably nearly six and a half, seven feet right there. So, but yeah. So here's part of our grinder and there's the auger. And the other part and then the cutter heads and all up here that one's that one's hamburger and that one's sausage it's a coarser coarser ground anyway guys hope y'all enjoyed the video and uh i'm gonna like i said this is gonna be a multi-parter uh getting this getting this uh door back on getting the wall rebuilt and then remodeling in here putting up a calf feed out for six eight weeks probably gonna be first of march before it's ready to kill uh we want to get some video on on uh slaughtering it skinning it gutting it all that stuff uh and then when we get it ready to cut up i'm gonna try to get some video of processing it how you uh how do you cut one up, you know, quarter it, we're going to quarter it and hang it, but then uh, as far as cutting it up, you know, you're going to take a quarter and how you going to cut the quarter to make steaks or whatever, so I'm going to try to get some video on that. I've always wanted to do that. Uh, I didn't really never have a video camera when I, when I was actually doing a lot of it down here, so I'll try to get that done. And several years ago uh, I bought this saw here this old it's a uh, it's a well saw 400 and what it is it's a reciprocating saw this blade moves but this stays stationary and that's made to cut the backbone cut down the backbone to half half one 
before that we had to use hand saws. We tried uh, reciprocating saws, long blades, but the blades are too flexible. These old hand saws are great if your saw blade's good and sharp, but they will bend and flex with you. If you ain't careful, you'll get off to one side or whatever. So that well saw it was expensive. It was I think it was three hundred bucks, which was a lot of money when I bought it. Well worth it though. And now that we got heat in here. No, oh, I didn't show. I don't know if I showed you. We got gas finally, so we got heat in here too. We got a little bit of gas heater in here. I'm thinking about putting a wall unit in though, because I've got a little infrared wall unit that would would mount real good. Of course, I got to replace all this crap. So I've only got basically through March 1st to get all this done. <laughs> but it, it's a good winter project because it's just too it's just too hot in the summertime to even fool in, fool around in here. Uh, so we had another leak there. I'm hoping that's an old leak. We did have this uh, entire roof over this replaced a couple of years ago, uh, but that leak back there was already there. That's one of the reasons we had it replaced. I'm not sure about this leak. It may be a new leak. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, stay tuned for more on this old meat shop.